LG G Series flagship phones tend to have really good value when it comes to the last year models. And today we're gonna be having a look at LG G8 X Think and actually see if it's worth buying this phone in 2020 or even in the beginning of 2021. We're gonna compare it to the best flagship phones of 2020 and see if it can compete with them and see if it's worth buying. Initially, this phone was released in September 2019. It comes with a 6.4 inch gorgeous OLED display supporting the HDR10. The screen resolution is 1080 by 2340 and aspect ratio is 19.5 by nine, which gives it a 403 pixels per inch which puts it among the best phones on the market as far as screen resolution. It has dual camera on the back, 12 megapixel for the main camera with 1.8 aperture and a 13 megapixel wide angle camera with 2.4 aperture, both capable of shooting 4K at 30 and 60 frames per second, which is great. Both cameras are flush with the body, which makes it look great and it won't stick out and won't scratch as much. It has an amazing 32 megapixel front facing camera with f1.9, so it's gonna give you real nice and crispy shots even in the dark environment. And it's also capable of shooting 4K at 30 frames per second. If you want to know more about this phone's camera, check out my other video. I'm going to put a link in the description as well as the link at the upper right corner. I'm going to go in much more detail about this phone's camera and all its settings. So if you want to check that as well, please go ahead and check it out. The phone has an octa-core processor, Snapdragon 855 under the hood, with Adreno 640 graphic processing units, which is pretty powerful and one of the best on the market right now. And it has 128GB of storage with 6GB of RAM. And it has the newest USB Type-C 3.1, which gives you a really high transfer speed. It has a built-in stereo speakers. The battery is non-removable at 4000 mAh and it also has the fast charger. It won't take long to charge the phone. So let's go ahead and compare it to the most popular flagship phones nowadays and one of them would be Google Pixel 5 which just came out in 2020 so it's, it's brand new and then another flagship phone from LG, LG Velvet which is supposed to be replacing LG G9 which we were all hoping for but it never showed up and then this Velvet came out and we will see if LG G8 can actually compete with this new flagship phone and see if it's actually worth buying it. As you can see I got all three phones here on the screen. LG G8X Think came out last year in September versus LG Velvet and Google Pixel 5 which were released in May 2020 and September 2020 accordingly. They're all pretty similar weight class, like they range about 30-40 grams, which is really not that big of a difference. Their screens are going downwards, it's actually 6.8 for LG Velvet, 6.4 for LG G8X and 6 inches for a Google Pixel. Actually, Google Pixel is an underdog in this comparison. They all have the OLED displays and Google Pixel has an HDR10+, so this is a little bit newer technology, but nevertheless, LG G8 still has HDR10, when LG Velvet 5G, it doesn't have that HDR at all. As far as screen to body ratio, LG Velvet is the winner in this case, and, and Google Pixel 5 is second place, and our LG G8 is actually on the third place but it still has a pretty outstanding screen and like two three more percents doesn't change the game especially when you paint this much difference in price for all of them look at the price 235 on amazon like this is pretty cheap as far as processors they all boast in octa core processors but lg g8x actually has a 2.84 gigahertz for one then it has three cores of 2.42 gigahertz and four cores at 1.78 versus 2.4 for a google pixel and one at 2.2 and six at 1.8 so you can tell that this processor is is actually weaker than the LG G8X and the same thing here with new LG Velvet. So it has a weaker processor but it's more expensive. And the GPU as well, LG Velvet, it has Adreno 620 and Google Pixel has Adreno 620 as well when LG G8X actually has 
Adreno 640s. That's a better graphic processing unit. It's a more expensive component that they put in the phone. So they actually cheaped out on this graphic processing units on the newer phones and they put a better one in this flagship from 2019. Another thing is LG phones have micro SD card extension when Google Pixel doesn't have it. It only has 128 gigabyte of storage and 8 gigabyte of RAM. So a little bit more RAM than, than LG G8X. But on Velvet you also have 8 gigabyte of RAM and you have 128 gigabyte of storage. Okay, so let's go down to the cameras. LG G8X has two cameras. The main camera is 12 megapixel at f.18 when Google Pixel has 12 12.2 megapixels at f.17 so slightly larger aperture on google pixel but honestly it's not that big of a deal it's only 0.1 of a stop so it's nothing crazy if it would have like 1.4 then i would consider it a bigger improvement as far as cameras and on velvet they do have 48 megapixel sensor with f1.8 which is pretty good but on another hand it only shoots at 4k 30 frames per second which is a big downside because the lg g8x it shoots 60 frames per second for 4k and same with Google Pixel, 60 frames per second. And keeping in mind that new Samsung phones are already capable of shooting 8K at 30 frames per second, and they can shoot 4K at almost 120 frames per second. This is a really big downside for LG Velvet, and I don't think many people would really want to get it because you can get a one-year-old phone with a better settings, and actually you can get a phone that would be like three years old that can shoot 4K 60 frames per second. So I really don't understand why they only have 4K at 30 frames per second for their flagship phone. And also their uh, selfie camera or the front camera is only 16 megapixels when LG G8X has 32 megapixels. And Google Pixel really let us down at, with eight megapixels, which is not as good as any of the LG phones. It's only shooting 1080p for the at 30 frames per second for the front camera and LG G8 actually shoots 4K at 30 frames per second. And it also has an image stabilization, which is really great. They all have USB 3.0, which is really great. Also, they all have fingerprint. The battery-wise, they're pretty, pretty similar for batteries. So yeah, with this last year model flagship form from LG, you actually get a great deal because now they actually tend to cheap out on specs for their phones. If you're planning to buy some flagship phone but you don't wanna spend a thousand dollars or more on the phone, you can always get this LG phone and it actually has packed a lot of cool hardware and it has like a super high end specs in the phone and you can buy it almost for free if you're on a contract or something. So basically, I would say it's really great deal if you wanna get a new phone, but you're actually looking for something cheaper than a thousand dollars. And as you can see from all the specs that we just went through, it's actually one of the best deals. And I was looking for different phones and I couldn't find any better deals as far as performance versus price. I hope you guys like this video, please let me know in the comment section below and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, click that notification bell so you don't miss new videos and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye now.